this one back. Uh, talk about Deacon Jones. You know, when you take your eyes off the Lord, you have a tendency to sink. Yes, you do. So, in spite of all that's going on and everything that's around us, we need to keep our minds stayed on Jesus because yeah. He's always in control. So, we're going to sing, Love Lifted Me. Yes. So when you feel down and low and in despair, yes, keep your eyes on God because He's always in control. Yes, Love this yes. to me, page 141. Yes. Yes. I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shores. Very deeply strained within, sinking to rise.
Thank 
gift for thy spirit. Father, we ask a prayer upon this magnificent choir, this dynamic music team led by this wonderful sister. Touch our dedicated deacons and our marvelous missionaries. Father, we thank you, Lord, for these ushers that are standing on the doorposts. Ushering in, Father God, your people. We ask, Father, that you to go outside of the walls of this church called Bethesda and, Father, touch this world. You know that this world is no friend to grace. And, Father, we ask that your mercy and grace will abound where evil and confusion resides. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. We need you right now. The world is in turmoil. We know. We, we're not part of the world, we're in it. Yes. If all the while we're in it, give us the strength. Yes. Give us the courage and conviction to tell a man like Ezekiel stands on the wall. Unless the man be born again, uh -huh. he will not see the kingdom of God. Right. We must warn them, Father God. Yes. Be bold in the Lord. Father God, we come to worship you in spirit and in truth. We come to glorify and magnify you. We thank you for our fathers. And for those of you who maybe never had a relationship with your earthly father, I want to give you some comfort today. Maybe you don't even know who your earthly father is. There's a father in heaven. He's father to the father. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You won't know how I know. Yes. Yes. Oh, Lord, yes. 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 Right now. Yes, sir. At the age of 11, I lost my father. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. But don't you know that God still fighting you? Yes, sir. Yes. If truth be told, he was already there. Yes, I just didn't know. Wow. So for those of you who have lost your fathers, your earthly fathers, just know yes, that he's just the prayer of man. Yes, 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 to God be the glory. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Feel this morning to say, thank you so much for allowing me to, to get that prayer out in full for a couple of days. And thank God that this is an opportunity. Reverend Harris is allowed him to open the service, so I'm grateful for you, for you. And this morning, the scripture reading will be found in the book of Acts, Acts, the fourth chapter, commencing at verse number seven and concluding at verse number twelve. That is Acts, the book of Acts, Acts of the Apostles, fourth chapter, seventh verse, commencing at. Verse number seven and concluding at verse number twelve. If you found to say amen. Amen. You still looking, say hold up, wait for me. Acts four. Acts fourth chapter. Verse number seven. Okay. Gotcha. We all there. Amen. Word of God for the people of God. And when they had set them in the midst, they asked, By what power or by what name have ye done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, yes. said unto them, Ye rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day be examined of the good deed done to this infant man, by what means he is made whole, be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you whole. This is the stone which was set in naught of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none of other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Amen. Amen. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading Amen. and the hearing of his word. You may be seated. Just want to make a quick announcement concerning the Consolidated Baptist District Lady Auxiliary Men's Prep Breakfast here at the Salem um, on next Saturday at 9 a.m. And we are asking that all the men of that Salem be present. 
So nobody would be able to say they didn't hear the message. All right. They didn't know who was hosting. The word of God is, has been, it will be preached today, and we think that all of you who are present today will be present next week. Amen. We want to make sure, because when we are hosting, we want to let people know that there are men at the sale. Amen. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Reverend Wilson. I just going to mention a couple of announcements before the choir comes. First, I just want to say uh, thank you, Brother Minister Jones, for an outstanding summary of today's Sunday School lesson this morning. Um, I want to say thank you, Reverend Wilson. For your spirit, Amen. your genuine energy Amen. that is contagious Amen. to us all. Uh, happy uh, Juneteenth, uh, church, family. I uh, also want to congratulate uh, Marcellus, yeah. uh, Martina, Sister Ivy, Sister Felicia, and their family on the outstanding work and the productions that they have presented for Juneteenth. Amen. What a blessing. Coming out of the sale. Amen. 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 I um, also, uh, someone said to me this week, said, uh, suggested to me, said, look, um, one of the ways that you all spread the word and, and uh, people get to, to hear that can't be there is through Facebook. And so they said, uh, why don't you have the congregation or ask the congregation uh, to uh, sign on and uh, go to the Bethsaida website and then hit share. And we can reach more people uh, with the blessed service that takes place at your church. And so I would ask you to consider doing that. Amen. Uh, as the choir uh, comes. Um, I want to thank the church and say, Beth say that you're beautiful. Our ticket sales for our banquet have just been outstanding. Amen. In one week, I think. It's, it's just, a, it's beautiful. We love you. And we're going to have a showing up revival and a wonderful time throughout the month Amen. of July. Um, also, and lastly, I, I had mentioned before that we're going to have a, a committee meeting today, but we, we're canceling that. We will not. We'll follow up later, or maybe a Zoom meeting or whatever, but we are in the stretch. Appreciate everybody and the work that they've put in thus far. And uh, lastly, I want to say uh, welcome. It's good to see you. Uh, my friend, Mr. Jerry Owens. Uh, and old school crooner is in the house. <laughs> Thank you for being here, Jerry. So lastly, I want to say happy Father's Day. Yes, sir. To all the fathers. And to our heavenly father. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Elohim. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sovereign. Yes, sir. Mighty creator. <clears throat> Jehovah, unchanging. Yes, sir. Intimate God. Mm -hmm. El Shaddai. Mm -hmm. Our all of sufficient one. Go ahead. Adonai, Lord and our master. Mm. Jehovah Jireh. Yes, sir. All right. Our great provider. All right. Jehovah Makadesh. Yes, sir. Our significance. Jehovah Nisi. Yes, sir. Our banner yes, sir. of victory. Jehovah Rapha. Mm -hmm. Our healer. Mm -hmm. Jehovah Rohe. Yes, sir. Our shepherd. And Jehovah to the kin to do our righteousness. God be blessed. And thank you, God, for being here in our presence. Amen. 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 speaker and her name is Sister Ward and the cost of this retreat is for is 
$50 in advance, $60 on site. Now, this retreat is going to take place July the 9th at the Ramada Conference Center, and this is it on um, Stone Trace Drive in Mount Sterling, Kentucky. So we propose you to come out to this event. The title of this retreat is called Salt and Light, coming from Matthew 5, 13 through 16, with Sister Anna Allen Edwards, who is the president of the Consolidated Baptist Church Women's Auxiliary. I do want to take this moment because just as I was coming in, I met a certain person who said she was from North Carolina. And I didn't get the place in North Carolina. Winston-Salem. Oh, you're from Winston-Salem. Do you know my son went to Winston-Salem University? All right. OK, her name is Teresa. Did you get Teresa's last name? Stand up, Teresa, so everybody can see you. <laughs> So she wanted to come to church today. Amen. 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 This being the church beside the road that likes the path of men, somebody like your path to come over here to Amen. 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 And I do want to say regarding the retreat, I need the numbers, because I can't call them off on my head, but there is a discount for senior women. So all those that are senior women will be riding the van. Now I want to tell you also that the van parking is free. But for those of you that are going to drive, the parking is $5. Amen? Ms. Emma, you talk about are you talking about the boat ride? You said the women's retreat. Thank you, Donna. Okay. <laughs> for the event the, 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 on the 16th, this is the car. July 16th, the boat excursion. It's July 16th with Sister Carter. And I'm talking about that van parking is free. But if you're planning to drive, it's going to be $5 per person. I mean, per car. Amen? Amen. 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 Thank you.
to know where and who to look to when trouble comes. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want to share with you this morning about someone we can all know. I want to tell you some more about Jesus. All right. All right. The only one who can save us. Yes. Jesus Christ. Uh, well, let's go to the text briefly here and, and, and just a glance uh, a little bit at the text in verse 7 through 12. Peter and John had been preaching. Uh, you might say they was having a revival and it, it, it was going really well. And they laid hands on some folks and uh, many of the people believed. Uh, some people were healed, and especially in the text here, a man was healed. And the Sanhedrin, the Jewish Judicial Council, Asked by, by what power mm. uh, or what name had you done this? Right, Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, the text says, mm -hmm. said unto them, Be it known unto you all by the, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mm -hmm. who ye crucified, mm -hmm. God raised him from the dead, even by him do this man stand here before you whole. All right. Verse 11 tells us that Jesus is the head of the corner mm -hmm. or the cornerstone. Mm -hmm. You see, without him, there wouldn't be no church because right it could not stand. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, verse 12 is, it is telling us that many people react negatively to the fact that no other name other than the name of Jesus right. that we can call upon for salvation you see, God designated Jesus to be the Savior of the world, and no one else right. can be his equal. That's right. That's right. Humankind for thousands of years have been in a desperate search uh, for meaning in life, in love and health and peace and prosperity, and also for the perfect dwelling place of eternal bliss. And about it happens. Humanity as a whole and each of us as individually and personally are looking for salvation from the evils of the world. Mm -hmm. Look, I, I don't all of us want to escape the pain, mm -hmm. the suffering and disappointment that are inevitable yes. as a result of a fallen race. Yes. Living in a cursed creation. Mm -hmm. Separated from our Creator. Yes. Look, we are we are made in the image of God, whose perfect character and eternal qualities include all that we could ever need and want. Yes. But humankind, in general, is separated from the one source that gives meaning to life and life everlasting. The only salvation that can bring humankind back into fellowship. Right. But the only source of life, life and peace is found where we must be saved in Jesus Christ. Right. Listen, listen. The, 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 the person, the work and the life of Jesus Christ stands irrefutably as evidence against the secular world. Viewing all the other religions, regardless of their maker, no one else is qualified or capable to meet the needs of fallen humanity or restore that which was lost by Adam in the fall of humankind. All right, I'm, 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 I'm going I'm to lighten up here in a second now. In, in, listen, in the person of Jesus Christ. All right. His life cannot be explained by natural processes alone right. mm. of all the beliefs of all mankind. Be they religious, political, yes, philosophical, yes, Christianity is based upon historical acts and facts. Go ahead now. Go ahead now. Other religions are centered in the ethical and religious teachings of their founders. But Christianity is built on the great events of creation and redemption. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Real quickly, the Muslim faith, for example, is 
based on the teachings of Muhammad. Buddhism is based on the teachings of Buddha. Confucianism based on Confucius. Marxism on the teachings of Marx. And the evolution in the teachings of Darwin. But listen, none of these is based on the observation of historical facts. Well, but teachings and theories of men. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not on observable data. Mm -hmm. Christianity, however, mm -hmm. is found who Jesus was. All right. Who he is well, and what he did. All right, all right, that's all right. And the abundant historical evidence that authenticates his life mm -hmm. and his word. Mm -hmm. This gives the teachings of Jesus Christ authority. Places him alone in the category of absolute truth. Lighten up, preacher. Uh, the truthfulness of Jesus and his teachings stand on the validity of historical facts, yes. which are the subject and are subject to examination and investigation. All other beliefs are based on the teachings and the ideas of mere men. No matter how brilliant they are, charismatic, or how much power they may seem to have. There is no evidence or guarantee that their objectivity their accuracy, their ultimate ability to deliver what they say that is that they have promised. Jesus Christ took upon himself the form of man. He saturated and infused mankind with a dignity and an inbuilt value that had never been even dreamed of before. Well, Christianity, central figure, mm -hmm. is the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Some try to place Jesus among the great uh, uh, leaders of history yes, sir. Uh, as, as, as among many, okay? Uh, but that's ludicrous and absurd. That's right, that's right. You see, Jesus is and he was who he said he is. Christ is, uh, 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 is great. Uh, 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 no one, absolutely no one can compare to him. You can't put him in a category with nobody else. Right, right. right. Too many seek salvation without the need to turn from sin. Well, they desire eternal life but refuse to acknowledge their sinfulness and their need for salvation. Look, look, look. They want the glory without the cross. Well, but if, you, uh, if they do not accept salvation on God's terms, they will face the pit of hell and the lake. Of eternal fire. Yes, How blessed are we for Satan well, that we've been rescued from man's unachievable goal to save himself? Mm. How blessed are we this morning that through God's grace we have been given the free gift right. of salvation? Yes, sir. I, I can't even tell you this morning there's no one like it. No one like it. No one like it. There, 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 there. No one can save you but Jesus. Well, that's, right. That's, right. that's right. There's one that can keep you uh, uh, from being saved but you. Mm. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All you have to do is believe what no, no, it is the gift of God. What, what have I got to brag about? I got no one to brag about but Jesus. Right. Too many have turned away from him. That's it. Therefore, a whole lot of folk are more loyal to the friends than they are to the Lord Christ Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. We're more honest with one another than we are with God. Mm -hmm. You see, some of us, if we borrow money from you, we'll, we'll pay you. <laughs> when it comes to giving God what we owe him or what he's asked us to do, then we go to check it to see if we ain't. <laughs> <laughs> Way too many people minimize responsibilities All right. mm -hmm. and they emphasize privileges. All right. mm -hmm. People are looking for substitute saviors mm -hmm. and pseudo love. Mm -hmm. They're looking for a way out. Well, I tell you that the only way out is up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And the substitute for salvation. And there's nobody like Jesus. All right, that's right, that's right. Times uh, like these of replicas and facsimiles, we need to look to the authentic. No matter what the world, as Brother Jimmy was telling us, no matter what the world offers us, there's no one can save us. I can't save you, Pastor can't save you. Can't nobody save you, but Jesus can. That's right, that's right. That's right. That's right. There's no one like him. I know. Listen. There, there was no one like him before existence. Mm -hmm. Did you know he was here to get existence started? Well. <laughs> he was here before the beginning. You know, he's older than his mother and the same age as his father in creation. And nobody liked him in his birth. Mm -hmm. He already was. All right, say it. I'm trying to tell you there's no one like him. He was born contrary to the laws of nature. Mm -hmm. well, mm. By the miraculous work of the Holy Spirit, God himself mm -hmm. took up residency in a virgin's womb. Mm -hmm. The embryonic form through a natural nine-month pregnancy. Mm -hmm. She gave birth to a son who was also the son of God. Well. Look, 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 there, there, there's no other uh, uh, birth uh, like this. In fact or fiction, mm -hmm. he defied the laws of genetics mm -hmm. and suspended the rules of biology. Mm -hmm. There's no one like him. All right. And his infancy, because he startled the kings, no one like him in his boyhood. He puzzled the doctors and the masterminds of his day. Yes, sir. And we could have walked up and asked Jesus, uh, how old are you, Jesus? He would have said, on my mother's side, <laughs> I'm 12. <laughs> on my father's side, right. I'm from everlasting right. to everlasting. Right. Right. Age 12, uh, in the temple among the masterminds, uh, he had them back. Yes, sir. He was giving answers and asking questions, and they, they were dumbfounded. Uh, listen, Jesus is. Uh, 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 an indescribable gift mm, mm, mm. to us. Wow. Look, his, his life is unparalleled in beauty, mm -hmm. scope, character, and effect. Mm -hmm. No one ever spoke like Jesus, mm -hmm. did the things he did, and made the claims he made. Mm -hmm. The fact is, men reject Jesus. Mercy. His birth, his miracles, his resurrection, not because of lack of evidence. Because they never really researched the evidence with an open mind. All right. The other thing, they don't want to submit That's it right to his authority. That's it. All right. Christ's life and ministry, he demonstrates who he is, who he was, the God man, the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. He also declared his purpose to die for our sins. All right. mm -hmm. Jesus was born in an obs obscure uh, village, a child of a peasant woman. Mm -hmm. Grew up in another village, worked in a, a carpenter shop for 30 years, and, and then for three years he was a traveling preacher. All right. mm -hmm. Never wrote a book, mm -hmm. held an office, mm -hmm. had a family or a home, well, didn't go to college. Well. Never visited the big city. Mm -hmm. They say he never traveled more than 200 miles away from his birthplace. He did none of the things that usually come with success. Well. He didn't have no credentials but himself. Mm -hmm. Come here, church. Let's brag on our God. All right, all right, all right. Come here, Jesus. All right. He's the one who smiled in a rainbow mm -hmm. All right. and laughs in the light. Mm -hmm. The one who takes the stars and fastens his belt with them. Mm -hmm. His hand is firm and friendly. His heart is true and tender. Mm -hmm. His help is always timely. Mm -hmm. And his presence is full of joy. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm trying to tell you, there's no one like him. All right, all right. Well, uh, he has a name that is above every name. Well, right. There's no norm to his fame. There's no finality to his uh, 
to his claim. There's no confine to his love and there's no limits to his honor. Listen. To his beauty there is no bounty. To his truth there is no end. To his mercy there is no measure. I'm trying to tell you there's no one like him. He always does what's right. He's righteous in his rule. Lustrous in his love. He's famous in his fullness. Glorious in his grace. He's cautious in his care. And he's precious in his peace. He's judicious in his justice. And he's generous in his blessings. He's just no one like him, church. He never retracts on a promise. He said, I never leave you nor forsake you. Well, right. He never relinquish his power. He never repeal his pledge. He never in a hurry. But he's always right on time. That's right. That's right. I'm trying to tell you there ain't no one like him. All right. That's right. He obtained redemption for us. He promotes peace. Purifies sin. Provides access to the throne of grace. Yes, Jesus is our advocate. Our Alpha and Omega. Amen. Almighty. Yes, the Amen. Apostle and High Priest. Yes, the author and the finisher of our faith. Yes, He's the living red. Yes, the bridegroom. Mm -hmm. The chief cornerstone. Mm -hmm. The chosen one. Mm -hmm. The consolation of Israel. Mm -hmm. And the chief crowd. He is our counselor. Emmanuel. Mm -hmm. God is with us. The faithful and the true witness, first and the last, friend of tax collectors and sinners, the good shepherd, head of the church, the high priest, he's the holy one of God, our hope, our great I am. Well, preacher, just tell me, just tell me a little bit, you've been gone off, but tell me just a little bit more about that, Jesus. All right. He's our indescribable gift. Our intercessor. <laughs> King of kings. Lord of lords. King of nations. King of the Jews and the Lamb of God. Light and light for the world. And the lion of the tribe of Judah. Lord have mercy. He is Lord of the dead and the living. Lord of all, Lord of glory, Lord of Lord, mediator, Messiah, mighty God, morning star, prince of peace, redeemer, resurrection and life. All right. He is the savior of the world. Yes, sir. Yes. Spiritual rock and living stone. Yes, sir. The true God, the one true and living God. Yes. He is the one who is. Was and who is to come. Yes, I'm trying to tell you, she's wonderful. Yes, yes, right. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He is the Word of God. Yes, he is. And listen, it takes, yes, 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 it takes all these things and more to describe him. All the adverbs, nouns, and adjectives <laughs> to put into meaning who Jesus is. All right. I'm trying to tell you, there ain't nobody like All right. Now, as I Prepare the code. It was only 33. And the tide of public opinion turned against him. Mercy. His friends ran away. Mm -hmm. One of them denied him. Mercy. He was turned over to the enemy. He went through the mockery of a trap. We nailed to a cross between two thieves. Yes, While he was dying, the executioners gambled for his garments. Mm -hmm. He was laid in a barbed grave through the pity of a friend. Mm -hmm. After over all the centuries, guess what? He steeped the central figure of the human race. That's right, that's right. All the armies that ever marched, all the navies that ever sailed, all the parliaments that ever sat, all the kings that ever reigned, Put together have not affected the life of mankind on earth as much as Jesus' single life. Mm -hmm. right. I'm trying to tell you there ain't nobody right. like him. Right. 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 There, there's nobody like him in his suffering. Right. Nobody like him in his death. No one buried like him. No one in his resurrection.
resurrection, there's just no one like him in his ascension. No one like him in his coming again. There's just no one like him. As I said, we well, never heard nobody speak like this man. Mm -hmm. He speaks with authority and not just as a scribe. And the disciples saw him still sorry, and they said, what, what man, oh man is this? There's just no one like him. And his suffering, he bore our grief, That's right. That's right. carried our sorrows, yeah. wounded for our transgressions, right. bruised for our iniquities, right. and the chastisement of our peace. Right. It's upon him by his stripes we are healed. Suffered all the agony deserved of unpardoned sinners. He suffered the weight of punishment for all times for all people. He suffered the reproach and the rejection of men, being betrayed by familiar friends. He suffered being rebuked by the disciples and hatred without a cause. And Gethsemane suffered the shame of arrest without a warrant and incarceration in the common jail. And then they nailed him to a cross yeah. while he was yet alive. Lay him on a cross. Nailed his hands, spikes in his feet, and they raised him up between heaven and earth. Amen. Can you hear that old cross dropping in that hole to receive him? They buffered him, spinning his face, taunted him. You, you, you be the son of God. Why don't you save yourself, Jesus? Lord have mercy. And even the thief being crucified along with said, if you be the Christ, why don't you come down and save yourself? Mm -hmm. Why you had it, save us? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Can you hear that thief on the right saying, man, you ought to be saving yourself. Well. Uh, do you, don't you fear God? Mm -hmm. uh, don't you see that we are dying just like he is? But you see, we deserve what we get. Well, but this man has done nothing wrong. That thief on the right in his heart, when he heard Jesus say, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Yeah. Yeah. That thief on the right said, that means me. Right. He turned to Jesus and he said, Lord, Lord when you come into your kingdom, All right now. I want you to remember me. Hallelujah. I can envision Jesus getting on a hot line to heaven and asking the Father to put an extra place setting on the table. I'm bringing company home for them. But he said, in this day, not some far off day. Well, the Spirit caught the Spirit of that cathedral. Jesus escorted him out toward the gates of paradise. Telling you no one died like him. Woo! With that monstrous three-headed watchdog of the gates of hell saw Jesus escorted that thief out to the gates of paradise. He screamed to his hell's house, don't let him open them gates. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't let him open them gates. <laughs> Those gates have been closed for over 4,000 years. Whatever you do, don't, don't open them gates. And I can hear Jesus saying, lift you up your head. Glory to you. And be ye lifted up the everlasting doors and the King of glory shall come in. Go ahead. Go ahead. I can hear the helpers of heaven, yeah. of hell, saying, who is this King of glory? Woo! The Lord is saying, the Lord of hope. Yeah. He is the King of glory, church. About that time, the gates of heaven went up and he escorted that repentant thief in the paradise. Mm -hmm. When he got ready to go back to the cross, I can hear the angel ask, wait a minute. You haven't told us his name. Mm -hmm. And I can hear Jesus saying, well, I didn't take the time out to have him sign an application Woo! for membership. Mm -hmm. All I know is that he's a sinner Save that Listen, Jesus wasn't quite finished hanging there between heaven and earth. And it was it was like as if uh, earth was trying to get rid of Jesus. 
and heaven didn't want it. Mm -hmm. For we hear him cry, my God, my God. My God, my God. Why has that for sin? Mm -hmm. And then we hear him say, it is finished. And when those around the cross heard him say, they thought he meant that he was finished. They tried to move in. <laughs> but to let them know that he was not finished. He cried out in a loud voice, the Bible tells us, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And he dropped his head in the locks of his shoulders, he died. No one died like him. When he died, the sun got dark. When he died, the veil of the temple was in twain. When he died, Matthew said that the dead got up out of the grave and walked the street. Don't let anybody mislead you, church. Mm -hmm. He died. Yeah. But I don't like to stay there too long talking about he died. Yeah. Uh, now, there, there, were, there, were, there was no one buried like him. Mm -hmm. They put our rock in a weary land inside a rock. Joseph knew too. And they rolled the rock over the mouth of that rock and contained our God. Then the next day, the soldiers went to Pilate and said, we heard that the sea was said he was going to rise up on the third day. I said, you better make it safe so you... Pilate said, no, that's your job. You deal with it. <laughs> they went and they put a seal around the rock. But I don't have to tell you, church, this morning, that our rock came out of the rock. <laughs> but the cynics are saying, if he had so much power, then why did it take him so long to rise? He wasn't working on your time. And he wasn't working on the devil's time. Now look, he couldn't afford to let the prophets down. He couldn't afford to let himself down. Well, even he himself had said, I'll return the third day. Simon Peter tells us he went down he took the keys from hell. Mm -hmm. Gets back to the grave, and he gets back to the grave. Death was standing there in the corner. Mm -hmm. Death said, look, like I've seen you before. Mm -hmm. He said, yes, you the one that stole me that okay. right. Mm -hmm. Back there on Calvary. Okay. Now, I've got the keys to death yeah. and life. Yeah. He starts out, out of the grave. And I can hear the grave saying, wait a minute. You can't go now. We signed a contract that we would uh, not lose another. The last one we lost was last. We can't afford to lose another. Thank God by the might of his own power. Just like the Bible said he would. He got up out of that grave with every form of power in the orbit of his significance. Stepped up on the side of immortality, declared power, took the sting out of death, church. I want to leave you and just tell you there's no one like him. God has given him a name above every name. Yes, he has. There's no one like him. No. He walked on the top of nothing. With a gesture of his hands, words were formed. He scooped out the seas with the power of his hands, dug deep. The gorgeous piled up the hills, propped up the mountains by his will. There's no one like him. Finally, throughout history, the influence of Jesus had on the lives of people throughout this world has never and never will be surpassed. No other great leader has inspired so many changes in the lives of humankind. And I want to leave you saying that if you don't know, you can encounter him and be totally transformed. Look, those of us that know him know that our lives have been changed forever. Amen. Historian Philip Scrapp Described the overwhelming influence which Jesus had on the subsequent history and the world. Said Jesus, without money and arms, conquered more millions than Alexander, mm -hmm. Caesar, Mohammed, Napoleon, etc. Mm -hmm. Without science, 
Christ, he shed more light on things human and divine than all the philosophers and scholars combined. That eloquence of schools, he spoke such words of life that were never spoken before since. <coughs> Produced effects which he beyond reach of orator or poet. Without writing a single line. He says, set more pens in motion. Furnish more things for sermons and discussions and learned volumes, works of artists, songs of praise and the whole army of great men in ancient and modern times. Christian men and women have found fulfillment and joy. He can fill all of your needs. There never has been and there never, there's just no one like Jesus. No sweeter name has ever been spoken. Don't you go down life's road by yourself. Well, come to Jesus. Will you? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to tell you there's no one like you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Say something like, I looked all over. I couldn't find nobody. I, I searched high and low. Well, and I still couldn't find nobody. Right. Nobody great. The hardest has said, there's nobody like Jesus. All right. This time the door of the church is open to everyone. Thank you. 
Reverend Marlis, do you have anything else? No, sir. Okay. Remind, just a reminder for those of you who have not had an opportunity to get tickets, the tickets will be on sale following this morning's service. There is no other business being coming for the body of the church. We we'll ask that you to stand down and receive you the benediction. Oh, yes. And you know, we love to remind you that God loves the children for giving. So, on your way out, you're going to drop on your phone and give according as God has given to you. That is our prayer. And let the church say amen. Let the church say amen.